This is the video that has been going around the internet recently, starting up old drama with Eugenia Cooney. For those of you that don't know, this is a YouTuber who has been on the spotlight recently for not exactly the best reasons. Fans and for people that love to watch hate her content have generally been quite concerned. I refuse to normalize this. I am generally amazed she is alive and able to move her body like this. TikTok needs to take this video off its platform immediately. They should not be condoling anorexia at all. Shameful. Going way back to when she even first made her YouTube channel, this has always been something that has been very apparent with her appearance, being extremely underweight. But before we take a deep dive into this whole situation and drama, and who is really to blame behind all of this, at least I think, let's do the common shout out. At least have a little bit of fun before we get into this very serious topic. Today's common shout out goes to Paul Kelk. Thank you so much for leaving a comment. If you guys want to shout out in the next video, make sure to leave a comment down below saying I destroyed the bell button and I'll pick one of you for a shout out in the next video. So just a few weeks ago, there was a video going around where Eugenia Cooney was live streaming from her house and she just simply wanted to go outside to see the moon. As she went to go to do that though, there was a bell on the door that rung and her mother woke up instantaneously, almost seeming like she didn't want Eugenia to leave the house, almost as if she is being kept there by her will. Oh, she's awake. I woke her up. Hey, mom. Did you hear about the moon? Is it that? Everyone's telling me I need to go see it. Oh, okay. All right, let's look through. We're just going to look through the window, guys. With one commenter saying, my mom had bells on the door growing up so she could hear when I would leave and come home because I used to sneak out. But then when confronted with this, Eugenia Cooney just simply states that she doesn't actually know why there is a bell on the door and she's never really thought about it before. Um, I don't really know why there's bells on the door, guys. Like, to be honest, like, that's not even really something, like, I thought about. It's sad. And sometimes when I talk about it, I know people, like, make it into, like you're just trying to get which honestly just left fans more worried than before so much in fact that apparently people started making phone calls to the police talking about eugenia cooney and how she has been held captive at her house these calls ranged all around the world going as far as egypt to phone in and voice their concerns tmz read a article about this talking about the whole drama and breaking it down saying this youtuber eugenia cooney cops flooded with calls over skinny and frail appearance influencer Eugenia Cooney's very thin physique has resulted in her local police getting bombarded with calls and emails, but we're told the YouTuber isn't in any sort of danger. Concern for Eugenia's well-being ramped up in recent weeks after she posted TikToks of her dancing, with many of the comments focusing less on the moves and more on her appearance. Sergeant Reeves says he's known Eugenia for more than a decade and they have a good relationship. They even have a special code. She puts a certain object in her videos so he knows everything is all right. If that object isn't there, however, he'll know to get her help. The Sarge says Eugenia has always been skinny, adding they can't really make her eat more if she's at the size that makes her comfortable. He says she's of sound mind and always has a bubbly personality when he chats with her. Other agencies have checked on her in the past, but we're told she's never met the criteria to force her to get any kind of help. This isn't the first time fans have been asking Eugenia to get help. People have reached out over the years, notably in 2019 when YouTube star PewDiePie asked his followers to send her words of positivity. But despite all of that, Eugenia Cooney and people being worried for her hasn't really slowed down a whole lot. In fact, there is this old compilation again going around of Eugenia almost just not being able to do the most basic human things that could really range from trying to crack an egg or even simply being at the beach and not really knowing how to take out a chair from a bag. Simple things like that. Wait, there's a shovel? We have to dig. Oh, we need to dig. So hmm. what do I do? Just make a hole? We have to dig in the earth. Just like anywhere? Yep. Okay. How did you do that, Mom? Push the bottom. It didn't work for me. How did you do that? How did you do that? How did you do that? Wow, how did you do that? Try the other way. Get the strip. The strip. A black strip. No, a black strip. I'll put the pot down so it don't go all over your socks. Oh, do you open this one? Yeah, go ahead. I have to think. Yeah, you might, you might be like Why some people seem to have just capitalized on the whole drama as of late, making videos with Eugenia Cooney in an interview, and this clip right here, which honestly, in my opinion, just states a clickbait intro to where this just didn't even happen. Yeah, answer the question. I can't believe you 
you asked me that, Rich. <laughs> Right now, I just want to talk about the whole situation with her and really break it down because there really does seem to be quite an alarming things that have happened in the past that honestly just don't really add up and are quite concerning. As I'm not the only one who is concerned for her safety right now, there have been a bunch of videos on YouTube talking about the fact that Eugenia Cooney is dying in front of our eyes with other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers like Jeffree Star even crying on a live stream and being very very sad about the whole situation. And I just want her to smile. I don't want her to know that I'm crying. With Eugene Okuni honestly not even being able to grasp on the concept of what seems to be happening right now. A very similar approach to what happened a few years ago, where she approached her subscribers and her fans, even her haters, talking about all the hate that she has been getting. Although I honestly find a lot of the hate is honestly just misguided at this stage. And to be able to understand how maybe some of that might be misguided hate and it honestly should be directed at someone else, in my opinion. Take this clip, for example. It might be from a few years ago. She generally seems confused and not understanding the scope of the whole situation, unable to understand why she's getting hate. She doesn't think there's anything wrong. Pretty much every video that I post just gets like swarmed with dislikes. Like no matter what I post, people just go and dislike it like crazy. But I just wanted to say, since obviously it seems like some people are really, really angry with me right now, I I'm really sorry to to anyone that I'm at all angering or upsetting because I seriously never mean to do that. It kind of just sucks that I kind of feel like so many people on the internet just like hate me right now and seem to think I'm like a really bad person or something. Now let's just take a deep dive for a second because sure, she doesn't actually think she's doing anything wrong here. I really hope some of you guys see that I'm really not a bad person because I really never try to be a bad person. I just try to make people happy and to be positive and stuff and it's kind of hard to do that sometimes but I really do try. And I generally believe that she thinks that, especially when she has people like her mother telling her that there's nothing wrong with her and her brother stating that as well. It seems like her whole family seems to be telling her things that just aren't simply true. Now, honestly, if I was at this weight, everyone in my family would be talking about it, but it just seems like the mother doesn't even acknowledge it and just doesn't want to even talk about it or address it. As if Eugenia Cooney gets most of her views from her looking this way, which by the way, that's not really a far stretch of the imagination because it really does seem to play into the fact on why she gets so many views. You're not clicking on thumbnails like this just for someone's opinion on something. You're clicking on it because it's shocking and it is shocking. Hence the first video that I showed you right at the beginning that blew up. These types of videos on YouTube are getting millions of views per video for that exact reason. But here's another clip right here that I want to show you guys and just perhaps see if there's anything not quite right with this. Hope that it's been a great day for you. How is your your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She happens to be skinny mini, but she does take exactly. skinny Exactly. We're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. Thank you for the 200 bits, Picado. With her mom just simply brushing off that comment, like it doesn't mean anything. Like Eugenia isn't actually wasting away. And with people leaving comments like this, disturbing Deb, she should be in jail. I know she hasn't actually committed any crimes and Eugenia is an adult, but it makes me physically ill to watch this. My mom used to call me a skinny mini when I was a little because I was a thin kid, but I wasn't starving myself to death. I've lost weight recently and my BMI is 20, which is perfectly healthy. And my mom is already like, don't lose too much. Don't develop a problem. Did you eat yesterday? I wish Eugenia had a mother who worried about her like that. Now, for someone to look like this isn't fully normal, but at the same time, they clearly need help. I do find the approach online to be quite disgusting. People leaving hate comments on Eugenia's Facebook and YouTube YouTube and TikTok to where I can't literally read some of those comments on this video. Otherwise, I would have my whole channel taken down. That's how disgusting they are. I don't think that's okay to do in the slightest. I imagine being in her situation because it really seems like the mum is honestly just giving her this false sense of hope, talking about how she's fine. What do you mean wasting away? She might be a little skinny mini, but she is okay. She definitely eats. Now, I'm not the only one who comments on this as well. 
well, talking about the fact with her mom being the issue on why she looks the way that she does. A lot of people online have been voicing their concerns about how the mom treats Eugenia Cooney and how it is not normal. Take it from some of her old best friends that tried to get help for her. And this was their story talking about that. To get her to hang out on the Super Bowl and other days. It was a day after the Super Bowl. I I did lie to her. I I lied to her. We all kind of did. We, we pretended we were going to go to an escape room, which is a thing that we would regularly do. So it seemed believable to her her and her mom specifically her mom specifically her mom now there are rumors going around that the mother doesn't want her to get help rumors talking about the fact that she has a weak heart and if eugene Cooney was to go to the doctors to try and get help how it would push her over the edge and would kill her those are some of the things that the mother says to eugenia that's why i think eugenia doesn't have any idea of the situation or how serious the situation that she is in really Really is. Here she has her mother telling her that she is fine and she is okay. And then also going way beyond that and saying, if you go and get help, I will die. Being in her videos as well, it seems like she wants Eugenia to keep this going and keep using her daughter for views, having the bell on the door. All she wanted to do earlier was to go and see the moon outside. She wasn't allowed to leave the house. And on top of all of that, they talk about how Eugenia Cooney has a driver as well. Just another step on how the mother is really trying to manipulate her and force her to be back home on certain times. The mother really dictates and controls everything in her life. Okay, so there's a lot of a backstory with the mom. Um, Eugenia is an adult. She's, I believe, 24, 25 years old. She's never allowed to go anywhere. Um, it's all completely manipulated uh, by the mother. Um, there is a driver, uh, Edgar. Every hang out with friends really. is an orchestrated pickup and drop off um, by Edgar who waits outside um, and in this situation when um, Eugenia called her mom and her mom was furious um, Edgar came into the apartment and was banging on the door um, he and like followed me into my apartment he like followed me in my apartment and was screaming at me he started banging on all of my neighbors doors until he finally got to mine and figured out where my apartment was and uh, <sighs> It's like banging on the door. I was I was terrified. Like this was a big guy. Now this just doesn't sound right. Having a driver called Edgar who has to make sure she is back at the exact time is just weird. Now remember, she is 29 years of age, okay? So she is not a teenager or young at this stage. She's old enough to be able to make her own decisions and should be old enough at this point to live her life fully. But it's almost as if she's just being stuck at home and brainwashed with all these things as her mom like I stated earlier, uses her for views. Now again, it's hard to really with 100% certainty say that because I don't know all the pieces to the puzzle. I'm only talking about what people have said. But her best friend again goes into more detail talking about this, which really just drives home the fact of why would you not worry about your daughter's health? She doesn't look well. She hasn't looked well for the longest time, but her mother again doesn't really seem to care that much. It's not my place. It's This is something that people have been harassing me about for years. For as long as I've known her, people have been really angry with me for being a friend that does nothing. You know, how can you have a friend that looks like that and say nothing? You're, you're letting your friend die and you don't even care. Why don't you call a doctor? Why don't you call an ambulance? How can you live with yourself? How do you sleep at night and do nothing? It's been my place to step in for so long and now I do it and it's not my place. If we didn't do that intervention, she would have died. And I know that that is a harsh thing to say, but I fully believe it. Some people hate me, some people say that, you know, we saved her, and I do not think we saved her because she is still in a, the same environment, in a dangerous environment with the same people who for years of her life, when she was struggling, told her that she was fine. She was in a dangerous place, and she's still in a dangerous place. She was in denial of her problem before, and she's in denial of her problem now. It is different but very similar with the same mother who tried everything she could to stop her from going to a doctor. She was in tears because her mom has her convinced that if she goes against what her mom wants, her mom could die because she has a weak heart. She was in tears saying, if I go to a doctor, my mom could die because she has a weak heart and this will stress her out. And she lives in constant paranoia of killing her mother. She takes care of her mother and it should be the other way around. Why not worry about your daughter's health? I could definitely see where her friend is kind of caught in the middle here. I know how a lot of people online can really get quite aggressive with voicing their own opinions and how that could probably get quite overwhelming when people are telling 
telling you to take action when maybe perhaps you don't feel as if you have the right to in the first place. But I do think that in this case, yes, taking her to the rehab center and trying to get her help was the best move in this scenario. With that all being said, it's very sad to see this still happening and for it to still be going on. And this has already been going on for such a long time at this point. I don't honestly completely disagree when people say, could this be the final year or two of Eugenio Cooney? Honestly, how long can this really go on for before something serious does happen? With that all being said, guys, wanted to honestly just talk about this and the seriousness behind this all. I hope you guys have a fantastic day though. Hope you found this video interesting and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. I also want to say that last night on You Now, Eugenia said that her mom doesn't think anything is wrong. She said that her mom said, you just need to ignore the stuff online. I hope someone recorded that and posted on YouTube soon. She was saying her mom is not even worried about her dying. So for those of you who think we don't need to be paying attention to the mom, think again. How do you recover in a home like that?